Hi and welcome back. So a new study out of the University of Oslo has changed our perception as to which stage of sleep is the best for clearing waste products out of our brain. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see which stage of sleep is the best for clearing waste products. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by the University of Oslo which covers a study that was published in Nature Communications that looked into the way that our brains clear waste products during the different stages of sleep and the potential benefits. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. The word brainwashing usually triggers negative associations, but our continued brain health depends on this vital process. Scientists at the University of Oslo recently made new and important discoveries about how and why this cleaning happens when we are sleeping. The blood vessels in our brain constrict and dilate in certain patterns while we sleep. And this is one of the key mechanisms that drives the clearance of harmful waste products from our brains. Rune Enger, the last author of the study and an associate professor from the Letton Centre at the University of Oslo said, our discoveries can help us find new ways to treat or even prevent Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases. These findings can also help create strategies to deliver drugs to the brain more efficiently. Brainwashing or brain waste clearance is a process of removing harmful waste products from the brain. The brain, as it works throughout the day, continually produces waste matter. These materials include proteins called beta amyloid and also tau. And if too many of these accumulate, it raises the risk of Alzheimer's disease and other age-related neurodegenerative diseases. Professor Enger said, the brainwashing process is far more efficient when you are asleep than when you are awake. But the reason for this is not yet clear. The blood vessels in our brain dilate and constrict in specific patterns as we sleep. Waste products from the brain are cleared along specialized tunnels around the brain blood vessels. This movement of blood vessels could affect this process. The researchers examined what was going on in the brains of sleeping mice using an advanced laser microscope. The researchers discovered that the blood vessels in the brain, specifically the arteries, dilated and constricted in certain patterns while the mice were sleeping. These movements were not observed in mice when they were awake. Until now, it was believed that it was only deep sleep that was involved in this cleansing of waste products from our brain. However, in this study, the researchers observed something quite striking. The blood vessels in our brain constricted and dilated in patterns unique to each sleep stage of the entire sleep cycle, including deep sleep, REM sleep, and even the brief awakenings that pepper our nightly sleep and are a natural part of our sleep cycle. During deep sleep, the arteries slowly dilated and constricted, but as the transition to REM sleep occurred, these became smaller while the arteries slowly dilated. During REM sleep, arteries stayed dilated before quickly constricting at the end of the sleep cycle to the same size they were before falling asleep. These constrictions also happen during the brief awakenings experienced during sleep. The researchers saw that these sleep cycle dependent artery dilations and constrictions affected the size of the channels around the blood vessels. These are important for the transport of fluids and molecules around the brain. These channels widened and narrowed in step with the blood vessels, leading the team to believe that the flow of fluids was also affected. The researchers then moved on to biomechanical computer modeling and also simulations. 
Kent Andre Medal, a professor in mechanics from the Department of Mathematics at the University of Oslo and the scientist who led the computer modeling work said, to sum up, we found that the artery dilations and constrictions and the simultaneous changes in the channels around them had a big part to play in both the flow of fluids and the transport of substances in the brain. The researchers believe that this new study may explain why the flow of fluids and waste clearance in the brain is different when you are asleep compared to when you are awake. And it also identifies blood vessel dynamics in sleep as a potential target for the prevention of neurodegenerative disease and a means for improving drug delivery to the brain. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. So the studies I've read to date all seem to point towards deep sleep as the stage of sleep that's best for cleaning out all the waste products. But this new study seems to show that it's all stages of sleep that do it, apart from maybe light. So the longer you spend in deep sleep or REM sleep, the better it is for your brain to be able to clear out these waste products. Uh, another good reason probably for wearing a fitness tracker, although they're not 100% accurate, they do show you quite accurately um, how much deep and how much REM sleep you do get during the night. Uh, I used to have very poor deep sleep. By addressing the deep sleep I had, my REM sleep also improved, so it's good. I'm looking to get between uh, one and two hours a night. Anything over one hour a night with regard to deep sleep also pushes my REM sleep up, so I'm very happy with that. Let me know, do you use a fitness tracker to, to monitor your sleep or do you just guess? Um, I'd be interested to see how many people think they get eight hours sleep because they go to bed at 10, and they wake up at six and they think they've had a good night's sleep. That's usually not the case. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.